Hello friends, welcome back to our TS Info YouTube channel. This is Ganesh Yadav. In this video, we are going to discuss Power Apps Add Columns function. First of all, I will explain what is Power Apps Add Columns function and its syntax. In Power Apps, the Add Columns function allows you to dynamically add a new columns to a table based on the calculations, conditions, or exiting data in other columns. And it helps to add a column to a table and the specified formula specifies the values in that column where is exiting column remain unmodified. In Power Apps, a table defines a value like a string or a number. We can specify the tables as an argument in formula and functions can be written as a table as a result. Here you can see the syntax of Power Apps add columns function like add columns table column name 1 formula 1 column name 2 formula 2. Here you can see table is required it specifies the table to operate on and column name is also required you must specify a string like a name with the double quotes included and formula is also required to evaluate for each record now i will show you practically how to use add columns function in power apps here you can see this is my sharepoint online list like product details inside this i have added some records based on the different column types now I would like to display this SharePoint list record on a data table including a new column like total price using the add columns function. To work around this go to the power apps. Here you can see this is my power apps edit page and whenever you want to add a SharePoint online list to the power apps just go to the data section. Here select the add data like select SharePoint. Here you can select specific SharePoint online site. Then choose your specific SharePoint online list like product details. Then click on the connect button. Now select the app object from the left navigation and set its on start property like. Here you can see this is my collection name like collection products. This is my SharePoint online list like product details. And once your collection is created just click on the run on start property to get the created collection. Now select the default screen and rename it as. Now insert a data table control. Further expand the insert tab and search the data table. Then select data table. Now set its items property like. Here you can see this is my collection name and this is the new column name like total price based on the price and quantity column. And to display the data table fields just click on the edit fields option. Here select the add field option and choose your respective fields. Then click on the add button. Once your app is ready just save and publish the app. Now go to the preview section. Here you can see the data table control displays a new collection column like this. Next I will show you how to work with power apps add column to a collection. For that select the app object then set its on start property to create a collection like this. Here you can see this is my collection name like collection employee and employee id name and joining date are my collection fields. To get the created collection just click on the run on start property and to view the created collection just go to the variable section here expand the collection tab then click on the specific collection like collection employee then choose view table option here you can see the collection appear like this would like to add a new column to calculate the years of service of each employee based on their joining date. For that go to the default screen or else insert another blank screen. Then insert a button control. And change the button text like. Now set its on select property like. Here you can see collection employee service years is my power apps new collection name 
and collection employee is my source collection name and years of service is my collection new column name once it is done go to the preview section then click on the button control once you click on the button control the new column is added to the power apps collection to view the new power apps collection column go to the variable section here select the specific collection then click on the view table option here you can see the collection new column is added like this in the same way i will show you how to add multiple columns to the power apps collection for that i am creating another collection to create another collection use app on start property here you can see this is my another collection name like collection orders inside this i have added some fields like product id quantity and unit price once you created the collection just click on the run on start property and to view the collection go to the variable section then click on the specific collection and click on view table option here you can see this is my another collection like collection orders now i want to add two columns like discount price and total price using this collection for that insert a another new screen then insert a button control here change the button text like uh, then set its on select property like here you can see this is my new collection name like collection multiple columns i am using the source collection like collection orders this is my total price like new column and this is also new column like discount price now preview the app when the user clicks on the button control the new columns will be added on the power apps collection to view the collection go to the variable section here select the specific collection like collection multiple columns here you can see you will get the two columns like total price and unit price next i will show you how to work with power apps add column sum for that select the first screen here insert a text label control then set its text to property like here you can see i am using some function to get the price column total value like this in the last i will show you how to work with power apps add columns filter now i would like to add a new column called salary category based on the salary of each employee employees with a salary greater than $50000 will be categorized as high income and others will be categorized as standard income to work around this just go to the default screen or another screen here insert a another button control change the button text like then set its on select property like here you can see this is my new collection name like collection filter and i am using the source collection as collection employee based on the salary column i am creating the new column like salary category now go to the preview section and once click on the button control the new column will be added on the collection to view the collection just go to the variable section here select the respective collection like collection filter then choose view table option here you can see the filter collection column will be created like this yes friends this is all about how to use power apps add columns function using different examples i hope guys you like this video to give you a like and do subscribe our youtube channel for more free videos on sharepoint online power apps power automate and power bi thank you